Hello and welcome to this control web panel tutorial. In this video, we're going to take a look at the script installer in the CWP user panel. CWP comes equipped with a handy script installer that makes it easy to install predetermined software packages like WordPress, Joomla, PrestaShop, or Drupal. To access these installers, go to the sidebar and under the Add-ons tab, click the twirl down arrow and select WordPress, PrestaShop, Joomla, or Drupal. Alternatively, from the dashboard, you can scroll down to the Add-ons section, and you can find those same installers here, WordPress, PrestaShop, Joomla, and Drupal. Let's take a look at WordPress. This brings you to the Add-ons installer module. If you'd selected PrestaShop, Joomla, or Drupal, it would still bring you to the same module, just under a separate tab. Here you can quickly see if you have any WordPress installations, PrestaShop installations, Joomla installations, or Drupal. To install a new version of WordPress, just click on Add New WordPress. Here under the Software Setup section, we can choose the domain that we want to install the software on. Then we can specify the directory. This directory field is relative to our domain, and the domain itself should be kept blank. For example, to install this in a directory folder, we would just type dir and it would install in my domain slash dir. If you want to install this in your domain root folder, just leave this field blank. Then you can choose a language. French, English, Italian, Spanish, and Russian are supported. Under advanced options, we can type the name of the database to be created for the installation. In the username field, we'll add our username. And under the password, we'll enter our password. If we don't have a password already, CWP can generate one for us. Just select your options under the encrypted dropdown. We can choose the length as well as type, either alphanumeric or with symbols. And then click the key icon to generate a random password. If the password isn't strong enough for us, we can just click the key again until we get a stronger one. Once we're ready, we can click Install. A confirmation dialog appears that asks us to confirm our settings. If we're happy with all these settings, we can click Continue. If the installation path you've selected is not empty, installing WordPress would remove all files in the directory, so you may want to go back and change your settings. Install and continue. And the installation was successful. And how easy was that? Our new installation is added to the WordPress installations below. As we create more WordPress installations, this table will fill up and we can expand the entries and search for specific entries here. If there's a WordPress installation that we want to remove, we can simply delete it under the actions column here. Let's take a look at PrestaShop. Here we can see we have no PrestaShop installations yet, so to add one, we'll add new PrestaShop. And the process is very similar. First, we select a domain that we want to install on. Then we can assign a directory. And again, this is relative to the domain. So if we leave this blank, it will install PrestaShop in our root directory. So we'll create a subdirectory for PrestaShop. Below, we have to add our admin email and password. And if we don't have a password yet, CWP will generate one for us. And again, we can use the same encryption to generate a strong password. And we'll provide an email. And then for language, we can choose our language. And again, French, English, Italian, Spanish, and Russian are supported. And the version. And currently, we're displaying versions 1.6 and 1.7. Under the advanced options, we can set the name of the database to be created for the installation our username, and our password. And once again, CWP will generate a password for us. When we're ready, we can click Install. We're asked to confirm our details, and if we're happy with that, we can click Continue. Next, let's take a look at the Joomla installer. Just click the Joomla tab. If there's any existing Joomla installations, they'll be shown in the table below. If not, we can add a new Joomla here. Again, just choose the domain that we want to install on. 
specify our Joomla directory, enter the name of the database that we want to be created for the installation, our username, password, we can generate one if we don't have one already, and then go ahead and install. CWP confirms our details, and then we can click continue to proceed. And the installation is successful. And again, we can see the details here. And if we want to remove it, we can just click delete here in the actions column. For Drupal, the process is similar. Just click the Drupal tab. Any existing Drupal installations will be shown. We can add a new Drupal by clicking the button, choose the domain, select the Drupal directory that we want Drupal to be installed on, enter our admin username, our admin email, generate a password, enter the name of the database to be created for the installation, our username, generate a password, and install. CWP confirms our details, and we can continue. And Drupal successfully installs. CWP also makes it very easy to delete these script installations. To do so, just click the delete icon in the actions column, and confirm the installation that you wish to delete, and then select whether you want to delete only the files or the entire package. Be careful when you use this function because everything will be removed from the installed folder, including any subfolders, so any custom files should have a backup first. And then click Yes to continue. And CWP instantly deletes the software. And that is the easiest way to install and remove these popular pieces of software on CWP. For more information, please consult the CWP user guide at the following link. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thanks very much for watching.